As the builder or administrator of a Glide app, it's important that you know how to customize the experience of your app for different users and securely control the data that they have access to. In previous videos, we've gone over user profiles in depth. We've looked at how you can define different properties for your users and then how to build out user-specific functionality around those values. Any profile column can be used to control the way that your app works for different users, but usually it's useful to think of one column as your main user type and then build out functionality primarily around that. So this is where the role column comes in. Additionally, normal user profile columns can't help you truly secure data. They just let you show or hide things. But when you make a user profile column the role column, you can use that in conjunction with row owners, which is the primary way to secure data in Glide. In this video, we're gonna look at setting up the role column, building typical admin controls with that property, and then using the role column with row owners. Here we have an applicant manager. We have an internal team members table, which is our users table because this is an internal tool, and then a table for external applicant tracking. We want to customize the experience of what our internal team can see and do in this app using the role column. To set up your role column, navigate to the user profile tab in the layout editor and select which column will be your role column. You can call it role or you can call it something else. For us, we have a column called seniority and we have three people with two different roles, senior or junior. Just as you can call the role column, whatever you want, you can also use whatever values you want to represent those roles. You don't have to think of it like a traditional role. For example, we could have written level one, level two, and level three, or just one, two, and three, or any other value that represents the way that you would think about administrating your users. Now in the viewing as dropdown, we can see the role for each person is listed. And now we can use this column as the primary column in the user profile table to build out admin controls and to manage row ownership. Let's say that we only want the senior members of the team to be able to add candidates. In the actions menu of our collection list, we can add a condition on the title bar action which allows this action only when the seniority value is senior. Now the add candidate button will only show up for our senior user. The great thing about roles though, and in fact any user profile value, is that you just need to change the user's role in the user's table, and that will change the entire way that they interact with your project. Now that we've changed this user's role, wherever else we've added conditions based on that role, they'll also see changes. Let's say that we wanted to filter this list now so only the senior members of the team saw the people applying for senior positions and vice versa for the junior member. To do this, we'll go into the collections, filter settings, and filter items where the level is the user profile seniority value. Now senior people will see senior positions and junior people will see junior positions. So the role column can be used just like any other user profile value. Here we've used it for filtering. But as you probably know by now, filtering and visibility conditions are not security features. So where the role column really comes into its own is when you combine it with row owners. Let's say that this candidate data is really sensitive. Perhaps there's salary information or internal notes that we don't want junior members of the team to be able to access for the senior applicants. While filtering does hide this information, that data can still be downloaded to the back end. So we need to secure this data with row owners. Because we've set up our role column already, all we need to do in the candidate table is to select the level column and make it a row owner. And when we do that, We'll see that if we're logged in as a senior user, we'll have access to only those rows. And if we're logged in as a junior user, we'll have access to only those rows. And this is of course reflected in the app. Now, this is a fairly simple example. In reality, you might sometimes need multiple owner columns. For example, let's say that we change this user's seniority level to manager, a new value. Now we have three levels of access that we want to control. We want the senior member of the team to only see senior roles. We want the junior to see junior, but we want the manager to be able to see everything. So in the candidates table, we just need to add a second owner column and make sure that the value of manager is on every row. Now, when we make this a secondary row owner column, when we're logged in as our manager, we can see that we have access to all rows. One tip if you're scaling up and you have multiple owner columns in a table is to name them things like owner one, owner two, and owner three, just to help you understand more the purpose for each column.
So the role column is something that you define in the user profiles table to affect the way that things show in your app and also to control access in other tables with row owners. But you can also use roles within the user profile table itself to control access to other users' data. For example, typically in the user profile table, if you have private information, you'll make the user email column the row owner column. That means that each user can only download their own row. But as we know, when you make something a row owner column, other users won't have access. So you can't show this information in a directory, for example. Now, in a previous video, we've shown how to create public profiles to deal with this, but maybe you don't need public profiles. Maybe you just need to allow certain groups of users to be able to access each other's information. For example, here we have a column called department, which represents each user's department in the company. And this has been made the role column for our users. Now, if we make this column, the role column, a row owner column in itself, that will mean that anyone who's in the same department will have access to not just their own row, but also all the other rows in their department. And finally, a really common thing that people need to build out in their user profiles table is the ability for an admin user of the app to have access to every row. For this, we just need to add a new column and put the administrator's email in every row and then make that a row owner column.